Hurricane Irma is expected to remain a powerful storm throughout the weekend while following a course that could bring it near the Eastern Caribbean Sea by early next week. The storm which strengthened to a Category 3 hurricane on Thursday has maximum sustained winds of near 110 miles per hour. Hurricane Irma was located at about 1,500 miles east of the Leeward Islands in the Caribbean Friday morning and was moving west-northwest near 13 miles per hour. It was expected to make a turn toward the west by Friday night and a turn toward the west-southwest on Saturday. Predictions are that Irma will become an extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane as it approaches the Leeward Islands next week. After that point, it is very difficult to predict where the storm will head because there are vast differences in the long-term weather forecast. In some models, Irma will go back out to sea. Other shows it could either hit the northern Leeward Islands or bypass them and curve towards the US. With the storm still five days away from the outermost Caribbean islands and at least a week away from any potential US impacts, there is still a lot of uncertainty about where it will go. The range of possibilities presented by the forecast models more than a week out literally spreads from Mexico to Canada and everywhere in between. Irma was designated a tropical storm Wednesday morning and by Thursday afternoon it had strengthened into a large category 3 hurricane with winds of 115 miles per hour. Such explosive strengthening is known as rapid intensification which means the system is having its wind speed increase at least 30 knots or 35 miles per hour within a 24 hour period. Irma is a classic Cape Verde hurricane, a type of hurricane that forms in the far eastern Atlantic near the Cape Verde Islands, also known as Cabo Verde, then tracks all the way across the Atlantic. Cape Verde storms frequently become some of the largest and most intense hurricanes. Examples are Hurricane Hugo, Hurricane Floyd, and Ivan the Terrible. Hurricane Irma is forecast to continue to strengthen as it moves westwards over the next five days and the official forecast puts a dangerous Category 4 Hurricane Irma on the doorsteps of the Caribbean by the end of the five-day forecast on Tuesday afternoon. Two things that we should put into context and bear in mind though, a strong high pressure ridge to the north of Irma over the Atlantic is steering the storm to the west and limiting the wind shear in the upper levels of the atmosphere which has allowed the storm to grow so quickly. Wind shear is like hurricane kryptonite and prevents storms from forming or gaining strength. Unfortunately, Irma will remain in a low shear environment for the next several days so there isn't much hope that Irma will weaken anytime soon. Irma has begun a cycle of reorganization called an eye wall replacement cycle, common to all strong hurricanes, during which a new eye wall forms and replaces the old one and the eye wall is where the greatest intensity of winds and rainfall are located and that is just around the area of low pressure called the eye of the hurricane. While this happens, the hurricane's intensity holds steady or weakens at that then steps back up again as the new eye wall contracts inwards. With wind shear remaining relatively low and increasing oceanic heat content lying ahead, Irma should intensify yet again this weekend, possibly to a category 4 or 5 status by early in the week ahead. Irma is expected to reach the longitude of the Lesser Antilles or the Eastern Caribbean around Wednesday and could be a formidable intense hurricane at that time. It is however a bit too soon to determine what parts of the Lesser Antilles, if any, will take a direct impact from Hurricane Irma. The possibilities though range from a direct hit of many of the Leeward Islands to the hurricane passing far enough north to only deliver periphery impacts such as high surfs, gusty winds and uh, rain bands. So we'll keep eye on this one peeps. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching the video. Drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so as yet. Until next time, walk good.